Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is me, Rush Dead Dixon Vixen, once again. And uh, tonight, to this afternoon, I just got back. I had to pick up a few things in the rains, and I, and I ended up buying a new umbrella, which I because I bought one for the when I go out, and the one I have, and I have a small compact one in case I, I could put in my purse in case it starts raining and you forget your umbrella, or when you want to travel somewhere. So anyway, today, this afternoon, I'm going to show you now my musical DVD collection. So uh, we are just at the end of the, end of the line, so here we go. This movie is won two Golden Globes, including Best Picture, and it's from the writer and director of Jerry Maguire, Cameron Crowe, and the film is called Almost Famous. And they say it's the best movie of the year, and over 150 critics agree, one of the top 10 films of the year. It's got a lot of special features, and it, and the soundtrack is and the soundtrack is amazing. And um, it has uh, Kate Hudson, who won the Golden Globe. It's got uh, Francis McDormand, Billy Crudup, Philip Seymour Hoffman, God rest his soul. And it's adored by critics and audiences nationwide. Almost Famous has been hailed as the year's single most entertaining film. Writer-director Cameron Crowe takes you on a heartfelt journey into the world of rock and roll in this delightful coming-of-age comedy. It's the opportunity of a lifetime when teenage reporter William Miller lands an assignment from Rolling Stone magazine despite the objections of his protective mother. William hits the road with an up-and-coming rock band and finds there's a lot more to write home about than, than the music. This enormously engaging film boasts superb performances by Golden Globe winner Kate Hudson, Francis McDormand, Billy Crudup, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and newcomer Patrick Fugit. Featuring a classic rock soundtrack with music from The Who and Elton John, Almost Famous is an utter delight for, from the first fa frame to fade out, and a must-see for every generation. So, this is a good movie. This movie I bought at Cheapies, and I heard I've seen the trailer for it. It's from the director of Bend It Like Beckham, and uh, it's inspired by a true story. And it and it's and I got this at Cheapies for like about five nine six dollars or something like that. And he said, and it says once he heard the music of Bruce Springsteen, nothing could stop him. The film is the movie is called Blinded by the Light. And it's guaranteed to make you feel better than any other film this year. And it's damn near irresistible. It says, Havid, a, it's about Havid, a British Pakistani teen living in Luton, England in 1987, writes poetry to escape pressure from his father at home and racial intolerance at school. But he finds inspiration and hope from an unexpected source, Bruce Springsteen, whose music empowers Havid to find his own unique voice. So uh, this this is a really good movie and um, it's a really it's a really good movie and it's uh, based on the book Readings from Bury Park Race Religion and Rock and Roll by Sar Fraz Manzor so um, I this movie was really really good like he like he needed the, the the character needed to find what he really really wants in his life and then once Bruce Springsteen hits um he listens to Bruce Springsteen. It's it's one of the great like he his life changed all of a sudden. Next up is a movie I was dying to see at the theaters, but I couldn't, and it won uh, Best Actor at the Academy Awards back a couple of years ago, and this is the it's a biopic musical, and it, the film is called Bohemian Rhapsody. And it took a long time to make. Originally, Sasha Baron Cohen was supposed to uh, a star in this film, but they had some falling out or something. Something did not come up, and it's so they added in Remy Ma Remy Malek, who was in Mr. Robot, and uh, he also he also he won an Emmy for Mr. Robot, and he won the Oscar for this film, which was really well deserved. And I think they picked the right one to play Freddie Mercury. It's every inch a classic. And it also has the complete live and movie performance not seen in theaters. It goes like this. 
Bohemian Rhapsody is an enthralling celebration of Queen. Their music and their extraordinary lead singer Freddie Mercury, who defied stereotypes and convention to become one of history's most beloved entertainers. Following Queen's meteor meteoric rise, the revolutionary, revolutionary sound in Freddie's solo career, the film also chronicles the band's reunion and one of the greatest performances in rock history. It's every inch a classic, and this is a must-have in your in your collection. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my tea here. My Neil Peart mug. Okay, this is another film that I, it's. This is a classic Walt Disney film. It's a platinum edition, and I got this years ago. And uh, the film, it's a two-disc special edition, and it's Walt Disney's Cinderella. It's the original classic, and it's got a restored picture and sound, games and activities, and a backstage Disney. And so... It says, Walt Disney Cinderella, based on the world's greatest fairy tale, has captivated audiences for generations. With its spellbinding story, memorable music, spectacular animation, and unforgettable characters. Now, with an all-new digital restoration, Cinderella sparkles like never before in its DVD debut. With a wave of her wand and some bibbity bobbity boo Cinderella's fairy godmother transforms an ordinary pumpkin into a magnificent coach and Cinderella's rags into a gorgeous gown, then sends her off to the royal ball. But Cinderella's enchanted evening must end when the spell is, broke, spell is broken at midnight. It will take the help of her daring animal friends Jacques and Gus and a perfect fit into a glass slipper to create the ultimate fairy tale ending. Experience the magic in this two-disc special edition with Disney-enhanced home theater mix, deleted scenes, all new activities, music videos, and much more. And you too will believe that dreams really do come true. This is a classic. <laughs> Next one, um, it's it's a movie that was came out in 1999 or 98 rather, um, and it's and it's a move it's a movie like it's a funny move it's funny and it's got a lot of great music in it. The film is called Detroit Rock City. Kiss the rules goodbye, and it has animated menus. It has uh, the movies you love. The features and has great features. It teaches how to play rock and roll all night on the guitar. It's got DVD ROM fe CD ROM features. Okay, and it is it is just so funny. And <laughs> I'll tell you what it's about. It's 1978. Bell bottoms, day glow, lava lamps, and rock and roll define the generation. What's a high school rock band from Cleveland got on their mind? Getting out and hitting the city, Detroit Rock City. Join a band, joins, join Hawk, played by Edward Furlong from Terminator 2, and his three best friends as they head out to pay their respects to the kings of rock. Kiss. Part road trip, part coming of age, comedy, part crazy ride through the 70s. This movie rocks and rolls all the way through. Like it's about a guy, about four friends who is dying to see a kid, going dying to see a Kiss concert, but they keep getting into trouble on the way. So, uh. So uh, if you want to see them, their dreams come true, you have to watch this. Okay. Next up is a movie classic, and it's uh, I got the Ultimate Supreme Edition. Um, it came out in 1987, and it was one of the greatest movies with a sound musicals with a soundtrack that you could love. And the film stars the late great Patrick Swayze, and the film is. Dirty Dancing. It has it's an ultimate it has ultimate features. It had uh, it's got uh, music videos. It's got uh, a live in concert. It's got interviews, and uh, it's a trailer gallery. It's got the theatrical trailer. And it says, the summer of 1963, innocent 17-year-old 17, 17 vacations with her parents at a Catskill resort. One evening, she is drawn to the staff quarters by stirring music. There, she meets the hotel dance instructor, who is as experienced as she is naive. 
she soon becomes his pupil in dance and love. So this is a must have in your in your uh must have in your DVD collection. You all everybody loves dirty dancing. <laughs> Next up is a movie that I got the 15 year anniversary edition and it stars uh Valcom Kilmer and it's and a lot of uh actors were trying out for the role of this of this of this lead, legendary lead singer uh Sylvester Stallone was once in talks of playing Jim Morrison but he did not he does not look like Jim Morrison at all and a lot of actors were, were, were tried out for the part but Val Kilmer fit that role perfectly he was Jim Morrison and the film is the doors it's a oliver stone's finest hour and it has bonus features it has uh, deleted and extended scenes and a, a documentary on the doors in la and a documentary on jim morrison an american poet in paris it's oliver stone's finest hour it's about jim morrison one of the most sensual and exciting figures in the history of rock and roll explodes on the screen in the doors the the electrifying movie about a time called the 60s and a legendary outlaw who rocked America's consciousness forever. So this is a biopic of Jim Morrison, mostly. And um, it's got an all-star cat. It has Meg Ryan, Kevin Dill, the Doors, the other other Doors members play are played by Kevin Dillon, Kyle McLaughlin, and Frank Wiley. So, so um, this is a film. It's directed by Oliver Stone, and it's... Uh, and I think it's based, and it's based on the, I think it's based, it's probably based on the book by, uh, break off by, by Robbie Krieger or Jim Dunn or Jim, John Dunsmore or something like that. Like it was probably based on one of their books. So, um, so eventually I'll look it up. So, but this is a, this is an awesome classic. I saw it on the day it came out and it, it was amazing. Yeah. They picked the right man to play Jim Morrison. Next up, I got a, a, a movie that came, one came out. This one came out in 94. And this one came out in 89. And um, it's a, it's a, the original and the sequel. And I haven't seen them. I've seen bits of it. But I've got the whole movies, both movies. And... Um, and the film, um, like, and um, it's about, it's got a great soundtrack and it's about the missing, a missing rock and roll singer. And first one, this is Eddie and the Cruisers with stars Tom Berenger and Michael Pere, which I'm starting to become a huge fan of his work. It's a fresh and original and it has orig the original theatrical trailer in it. Mm-hmm. And they say, like, Michael Perret's voice is like Sylvester Stallone, trust me. And they say, they say rock and roll never dies, but one dark night in 1963, Eddie Wilson's car took, up, took a dive off a Jersey Bridge with a troubled rock idol at the wheel. His body was never found. It stars Tom Berenger, Michael Perret, and Ellen Barkin star in this cool, compelling classic that really rocks. 20 years after the lead singer of Eddie and the Cruisers disappeared, the band's songs are hotter than ever, and renewed interest in the band leads TV reporter, a TV reporter to pursue a tantalizing mystery. What if Eddie is still alive? The circumstances surrounding his death are just shadowy enough to make it a distant possibility, and someone, could it be Eddie, has been ransacking the homes of surviving band members in a desperate search for, for tapes of the group's visionary never-released album. As Maggie interviews the former cruisers, the pieces of the puzzle start to fit, but only until she until still deeper mysteries begin to surface. And the second, and the, and this is the sequel, Eddie and the Cruisers 2, Eddie Lives. It's loads of fun. The music will knock you out of your seat. I haven't seen it, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It says, tw it reads, 20 years ago, rock and roll superstar Eddie Wilson disappeared when his car plunged off a bridge. Trying to escape his past, Eddie changed his name to Joe West and moved to Montreal. However, the past will not die. Eddie's former record company releases newly discovered tapes from Eddie's last album and mounts an Eddie Lives campaign. Meanwhile, Joe West has become both mentor and nucleus for a new rock and roll band that dreams of making it big without knowing their 
nomadic leader is the real Eddie Wilson. In the, in the poignant and dramatic climax, Eddie comes to term with his past, himself, and his music. So it has music from John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band. That's that like it's he lip syncs to to their music. So Michael Pere, um Yes. So this so this is uh, this is Eddie and the Cruisers too. Next up is um all is one of the best musicals I've seen, and it came out in 1980, and it's a film by Alan Parker. And it also turned into a TV series two years later. And it won Oscars for score and, uh, and um, best original song. And the film is fame. I loved this film. And uh, it's, about, uh, it's about a group of kids uh, who want try going to, to the School of the Arts trying to make a difference. Trying to make their dreams come true. So... Eventually, this is a movie that you must have to see. They did a remake in 2009, and it, I, I didn't see it, and I did not want to see it. It was, it was not the best, but this, the original, was the best. Next up, another film from uh, Adrian Lyne, and uh, this is the Special Collector's Edition, and it it's, uh, also has an inclusive six-track music CD, and it also won the award for best song, but that song by Irene Cara. And the film is called Flashdance. It was it's a classic. I loved it. Yeah, I've seen the whole movie when I went to a birthday party, and I just loved it. It stars Jennifer Bales, and it has the history of Flashdance, the look, the music, and it's got a lot of special features in it. It reads, the music, the dancing, the romance, the leg warmers. Oh, what a feeling. Get ready to re-experience all the drama as Alex bravely, as she bravely, bravely fights her way out of the welding gear, off the stripper pole, and onto the dance floor, school floor. Flashdance, the pulp culture phenomenon of the 80s, is back and flashier than ever, with brand new featurettes exploring the history, the look, the music, and much more. It's the hit film that inspired a generation. So, uh, Adrian Lyons' work was once again awesome, and um, I love this film. It's about following your dreams. So you should get Flashdance. Next up is, uh, I got the widescreen collection film, and I'll tell you what it's about. He's a big city kid in a small town. He said he'd never win. He knew he had to. And the film is Footloose, Kevin Bacon, Laurie Singer, uh, the original version. It's got spe some special features, and it's about uh, stars Kevin Bacon, and he left to start him in this stand-up and chair film that bursts with hit songs and dance. It's about a newcomer who, who is a big who is a big city kid looking for some fun, but after he moves to the sleepy Midwest, he finds himself in the town that fun forgot. But when he hears that the town's uptight minister has placed a ban on dancing, he decides to take a stand with his best friend and the minister's rebellious daughter. He, fight, he wages a fight for the right to shake, rattle, and roll, a campaign that will have the town in uproar and the kids dancing in the street. With an infectious soundtrack featuring Denise Williams' Let's Hear for the Boy and Kenny Loggins' chart-topping chart titles on Footloose is one movie with all the right moves. So this is a classic that you must have in your DVD collection. And also, also that they ha they did a remake in I believe 2010, 2011, and has Julianne Ho from uh, Dancing with the Stars on it. It was most basically, basically it was, it was a lot different. It was more country, but it did not top the original. The original was the best. This next stop, this next musical is everybody's favorite musical. Um, and like it's a favorite of fans of of all ages. It's a it's it's a fun movie. It, you can uh, act, sing along with it, and it's the Rock and Rydell edition. It stars John Travolta and Olivia Newton John, and the film it, and the film is Grease. It's got all new special features, and it's got new special features. It's got behind the mute. It's got deleted extended alternative scenes. 
and all that. It's got a great all-star cast and uh, and it says, Grease is the one that you want. Go back to high school with Pink Lady Sandy, leader of the bad boy T-Birds Danny, and a rockin' and rollin' all-star cast. Available for the first time as a remastered special edition is featuring all new bonus materials. Grease, rock and ride edition is the word. I bought this in the States and I'm really glad I did. And um, this... Like this is has to be an all-time classic in your collection. Next up is a what I have is a most misunder is the misunderstood movie, and um, it's uh, it got a lot of bad reviews from the critics. It came out in nineteen sixty eight or sixty nine, and it's a. Uh, and I've seen it a couple of times. At first, I thought, what the hell was I watching? But then I, when I watched it again, I thought, oh, it's very, very interesting. And it says, it's a movie either you love it or you hate it. And it's a newly remastered in full-frame format and contains eight minutes of rare trailers. And I'm talking about The Monkees and their only film they did, Head. It says, it says... A Hard Day's Night on Acid best describes this outrageous movie within a movie starring recording superstars The Monkees. The first in a long line of film for collaborators, Jack Nicholson and director Bob Rafelson, Five Easy Pieces, The Postman Always Rings Twice, Head's unconventional dreamlike styles showcases The Monkees' musical and comedic, talent, comedic talents honed on their popular television series. A stream of consciousness script lands our Fab Four, fab four in a World War II foxhole dodging an excitable football player. Then later, they are caught in a giant vacuum cleaner after being sucked out of Victor Mature's hair as flex of dandruff. And on and on from one, one wild situation to another. Head is unpredictable, filled with great music and undeniable, denial, denial, undeniably hilarious. Yeah, so but it's got it's got a lot of great songs on it. Like the songs that were very very popular like as soon as uh, the band came out and uh like the, the, as soon as they did the reunion movies and um so eventually um like my first big crush was Davy Jones of the Monkees. I was in grade 9, I was 14. It was during the reunion fel reunion uh, tours and I didn't know they age like they age like fine wine and they're still like in hot looking hot because i thought hot and gorgeous were like the 20s and up but as you get old the older you get the more the more maturity you, you, you feel <laughs> so this is a film whether you love it or you hate it <laughs> next up is a classic film that was directed by oscar winner tom hooper and it's based on the play on the Broadway play. It was nominated for eight Academy Award nominations and three Golden Globe winner award winners. And it's the best film of the year. And it has an all-star cast. And it stars Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, Anne Hathaway, and Amanda Seyfried. Russell Crowe, he's my he's one of my favorite actor. He's my favorite actor of all time. And the film is Les Miserables. And it's uh, the best film of the year. It's as remarkable, entertaining, and powerful, and a spectacular achievement. Uh, uh, like this, some people say they didn't. It was too long. Some people say they didn't like it, but they like the play better. But, like it's up to you. Like it's uh, like it's up to you, and uh, up to you if you liked it or not. And it says. An Academy Hugh Jackman Academy Award winner Russell Crowe and Anne Hathaway star in this critically acclaimed adaptation of the epic musical phenomenon set against the backdrop of 19th century France. France. Les Miserables tells the story of an ex-prisoner Jean Valjean, hunted for the for decades by the ruthless policeman Havert Crowe after, after he breaks parole. When Valjean agrees to care for factory worker Frantine's young daughter Cosette. Their lives change forever. The, this enthralling story is a timeless resentment to the survival of the human spirit and an unforgettable experience. It's got some bonus features. It's, uh, and like Scott, it also has, uh, Eddie Redmayne in it, 
Eddie Ray, it's got Eddie Redmayne, it's got uh, Helena Bonham Carter, Sasha Baron Cohen, it's got an all-star cast, so if it's a film, like, whether you love the play or whether you love the movie, like, it, like, it's, like, it's, they leave the, it's just, it's just up to our choices, so, but I thought that this one was pretty, the movie was pretty good, but I never seen the play. Next up is another Disney classic that came out in 1989, and it's the Diamond Edition. And um, I haven't seen this film in so long, and I saw it on DVD. And when I saw it, uh, I said, hmm, and it, it was a really good price. I had to get it. And the film is The Little Mermaid. It's a, it's a DVD and digital copy, and it's got two deleted scenes. It's the, mm-hmm. And it's the Disney classic that gave voice to a whole generation. And um, it says, With unforgettable characters, thrilling adventures, soaring Academy Award winning music, The Little Mermaid is one of the most celebrated animated films of all time. Venture under the sea where Ariel, a free-spirited mermaid princess, longs to be part of the human world. After bravely striking a bargain with Ursula, a sneaky sea witch, Ariel embarks on the adventure of a lifetime, but the fate of her father's kingdom is in her hands. With Flounder and Sebastian at her side, Ariel will need all of her, all of her courage and determination to make things right in both her worlds. Share the wonder with your family as you dive into this beloved classic under the sea adventure. So eventually, uh, so this is a classic. Yeah, classic and. I, th I still remember seeing this movie at camp, too, back in 1990. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, another Walt Disney film. It won, it won for Best Actress. It's a DVD and digital copy, and it's the 50th anniversary edition. And um, the film came out in uh, 19... Uh, I think it was 1963 it came out. Yeah, 1963. Yeah, it came out. And uh, the film is Mary Poppins with Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. And uh, it's got exciting extra content. A, mm -hmm, and it's Walt Disney's crowning achievement. And uh, it's got digital restoration, and it's released from the Disney Vault in celebration of its 50th anniversary. This beloved classic shines on DVD with an all-new restoration. Winner of five Academy Awards, including Best Actress, Best Song, and Best Visual, Visual Effects. Mary Poppins is a movie experience your family will enjoy over and over again. Practically perfect in every way, Mary Poppins flies out of the windy London skies and into the home of two mischievous children. With the help of a carefree chimney sweep named Bert, the, the spirited nanny turns every chore into a game and every day into a jolly holiday. Share the music, the magic, and the joy of Mary Poppins with a whole new generation with Disney's special 50th anniversary DVD edition. So, uh, like, this is an all-time favorite, Mary Poppins, and this is a film that you have to have in your collection. <laughs> Next up, is a film, a movie from Baz Luhrmann, and he also directed a uh, Romeo and Juliet, R William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's about it's the vision. It's from the visionary director of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and it came out in two thousand and one, and the film is called Moulin Rouge, and it's with Nicole Kidman and uh, Ewan McGregor, and it's one of the most incredible movies I've ever seen. It's you've never seen anything like it. And it's also got bonus features as well. And it says venture behind the red velvet curtain and witness a spectacular spectac, spe, spectac, spectacle beyond the imagination. Enter the, a fantastic world where nothing is forbidden and everything is possible. The world of Moulin Rouge. And it's like a musical. It's a love story. And it's got a lot of things combined, but... It's, it's a beautiful story, and um, I thought the music in it was great, and the scene and the cin cinematography was real, and the costumes were really beautiful. So, check this out. 
Next up is a film from uh, Rob Marshall, who directed Chicago. And it's got, it was nominated for four Academy Award nominations. And it has an all-star cast. And it's a move, and it's based on the on the Broadway play, and the film is called Nine. Nine. It also has special features, and and it's dazzling, and it has a great cast: Daniel Day Lewis, Marianne Cotillard, Penelope Penelope Cruz, Judy Dench, Fergie, Kate Hudson, Nicole Kidman, and Sophia Loren. Yeah, and it's uh, dazzling, and nine is a ten. Okay, it says, Nine is a vibrant and provocative musical filled with love, lust, passion, and glamour. A world-famous film director reaches a creative and personal crisis of epic proportion while balancing numerous women in his life with an incredible all-star cast, amazing performances of stunning visuals. This razzle-dazzle extravaganza will make you long to be Italian. So eventually, like this, some people loved it. Some people didn't like it at all. So eventually, um, this film, um, so, and, and this, so this film, like, it, like, if you love it, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. But the music, but the soundtrack was good. So, uh, this is, uh, so this is a movie you must have. It's a, it's, it's a must see if you want. Next up, this is a film that, uh, that my mom took me for my uh, 47th birthday a couple of years ago. And it's about the life of a, it's the biopic musical of Elton John. And it's magnificent, gloriously off the charts. And, and Taron Edgerton played the role of Elton John. And the film is called Rocket Man. And it says, one of the best films of the year. And his music inspires you. His life will surprise you. Rocket Man is a one-of-a-kind musical celebration set to Elton John's most beloved songs. Discover how a shy small-town boy becomes one of the most iconic figures in rock and roll. Featuring an all-star cast, this truly spectacular and utterly electrifying ride is filled with show-stopping musical performances and is unlike anything you've ever seen. So my mom, mom and I went and saw this movie and... Um, and we really enjoyed it. And but then my mom got really bop, 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 bop. And I was looking at her and I'm just like, I just, I just had a big smile. I said, okay, mom. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> but eventually this was, this was a great film. And this was, and I had to have it in my collection. <laughs> Next up is a film uh, starring Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. And it's about the story of a wannabe who got to be. And the film is Rockstar. And it's about, like, it's about wanting to follow your dreams. And then you uh, realize that, that, that maybe, like, when... <clears throat> yes, yeah, so, uh, like, it's about a, a kid who has a dream come whose dream comes true and but eventually maybe like like and when he goes through his dreams like it's not what the person expected but eventually uh this is a movie that you must must watch rockstar also a great soundtrack to this film next up i have the 45th anniversary edition of absolute pleasure and it's an all-time film that it's always out comes out on Halloween, and it like and it's an audience participation film, and I've seen this at the theater quite a few times, and I just enjoy it, and I do miss it. The film is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a toast to absent friends and give yourself over to absolute pleasure, and it includes both the U.S. and U.K. versions of the film and the theatrical experience. And says, prompter says, when do I squirt my water pistol and when do I scream and more? So eventually they'll show you how to uh, do the, when, when you, when you got to do the, say the scream, the words and you shoot the water pistol, throw the toast, throw the rice, all that, throw the toilet pit, whatever. <laughs> it says, fasten your garter belt for the time warping, gender bending cult classic starring Tim Curry, Barry Bostwick, Susan Sarandon and Meatloaf. 
This picture-perfect DVD specimen includes an abundance of extras to help you create, recreate the midnight movie experience at home. It was great when it all began, and Rocky Horror is still guaranteed to thrill you, chill you, and fulfill you. So Rocky Horror Picture Show is a must-have in your collection. Next up, it was a movie that was a huge bomb. It's a fantastical music, musical adventure. Yeah, but the, it's based on all the songs of the Beatles. And um, I've seen it a few times. It's quite cheesy, but it, but it, but I didn't, I, but it was a, I just had to have it in my collection. It stars Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees. And they, and they learned their lesson saying, well, they're never doing that again. I'm like, what the hell were, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> And the film is called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's a fantastic, fantastical musical adventure. It stars Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees, along with Steve Martin, George Burns, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Billy Preston, and Earth, Wind & Fire, performing almost two dozen incredible Beatles covers. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is a landmark of pop culture and an all-star musical spectacular for fans of all ages. Uh, maybe you should see it, uh, maybe, like, it's up to you, it's up to you if you wanted to see it, but I, I got it because I love cult, I love cult, cult, cult fiction and, um, and musicals, but I love the music of the Beatles, but that's movie, oh, what were they thinking? <laughs> Next up is the film that launched John Travolta's movie career. And uh, it's a widescreen collection. It's the 25th anniversary DVD collection that I got. It came out in 1977 and it includes a special highlights from VH1 behind the music. And um, the, it has the music of the Bee Gees as well. And the film is called Saturday Night Fever. And it is, it's got like a, Deleted scenes and uh, and it says John Travolta gives a sensual and intelligent performance as the troubled Tony Monero, Brooklyn paint store clerk by day and undisputed king of the dance floor by night. Every Saturday, Tony puts on his wide collared shirt, flare pants, and platform shoes and heads out to the only place where he's seen a god rather than just some young punk. But in the darkness, away from the strobe lights and glitter ball, is a tragic story of disillusionment, violence, and heartbreak. Without a doubt, Travolta's performance made him a Hollywood legend, but Saturday Night Fever is more than just a movie that defined the music and fashion of a generation. It's a powerful and provocative urban tragedy that carries as much significance today as it did in 1977. So this is the film that launched, that became John, Tra John Travolta's first starring role, and um, and it's a, and it was a great hit, movies, movies from the Bee Gees, it's got other other pe other people in the sound, artists on the soundtrack as well, but this is this was the movie that really stood out in his career, and there was a sequel to it called Staying Alive, but it wasn't that great. But this, but Saturday Night Fever was the best. Next up is if, if, if you all love peanut movies pe from the peanuts cartoon peanuts comic strips and charlie brown mm -hmm. that's what my grandpa used to call everybody charlie brown so god rest his soul and this is one of the movies he did it's called snoopy come home and it came out in 1972 and and it's called when america's most beloved beagle suddenly goes missing this, the whole Peanuts gang bands together to find him in this full-length feature from cartoonist Charles M. Schultz and the Academy Award-winning musical team of Richard and Robert Sherman. Snoopy and Woodstock, in his big-screen debut, head for the highways in search of their true place in the world and discover that there really is no place like home. So eventually, if you love Peanuts, I think this, uh, A Boy Named Charlie Brown was their first, uh, was their first movie, and so, um, Snoopy. So this film, like I said, it's a classic and it's a must-have in your in your collection. <laughs> Next up is a film. This is the 40th anniversary edition of this 
of a Rodgers and Hammerstein's film that's based on based on on the musical, and it came out in 1965, just after Mary Pop after she won for Mary Poppins, and the, it stars Julie Andrews and the late Christopher Plummer, God rest his soul, and the film is called The Sound of Music. It's got and I got the 50, 40th anniversary edition. It's got special features. And it's uh, it's got two discs. It's it's got a uh, uh, Mia Farrow was what was originally wanted to try out for Maria von Trapp. So it's got a lot of special editions and uh, so mm -hmm. and the breathtaking landscapes, the dazzling performances, and the world's best love songs all took and sound better than ever in this fully restored and digitally remastered DVD release of the most popular family film of all time. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of The Sound of Music winner of five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. In this true life, life story, Julie Andrews stars as Maria, a spirited young woman who leaves the convent, convent to bring love and music to Austrian widower Captain Von Trapp and his seven children. This extra, extraordinary two-disc set is brimming with, brimming with all new fe special features, including audio commentary by Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer, sing-along karaoke subtitles, a retrospective documentary, enchanting featurettes, and much more. Like, I did not... Every time this film goes on TV when I was growing up, my brothers would not watch it. He, they have always wanted to watch sports. So eventually, I had to grow up with sports. And the first time I saw The Sound of Music is when I was 18 years old and I, when I was, at Pine, uh, and I was working at a camp all summer. So this was the only time I'll get to watch it. Oh. No, oh, mind me, I grew up in a house full, house full, house full of men. <laughs> this next movie, it's a special edition movie, and it's a, the directorial debut of Rob Reiner, and it's about a, a rock and roll band, and this is, it's called This is Spinal Tap, and it's got a lot of special features, and it's the funniest movie ever made about rock and roll. Yeah, so it's written by Christopher Guest, Michael McKean, Rob Reiner, and Harry Shearer. Mm -hmm. So it's got. A, so it says you're about to get personal with one of the music history's greatest and loudest heavy metal bands, Spinal Tap. Whether or not you're a diehard fan of the group, you'll love this detailed rockumentary of England's legendary Spinal Tap. Acclaimed commercial director Marty DeBerge takes you behind the scenes for an intimate look at a band who whose time has come and gone and come again and through interviews, rare footage and lots of music, including classic tap tunes like Big Bottom and Hell Hole. You'll get acquainted with David St. Hubens, Nigel Tufnell, Derek Smalls, and every drummer who ever lived and died for this renowned re rock band. Be a part of the sights, sounds, and smells of this celebrated heavy metal ph phenomenon. It's an experience you'll never forget. <laughs> so uh, this is a must-have in your collection. <laughs> yeah. Next up is a movie that that was a classic. That was a that was a made that, that was made a couple of times, and it was recently made of remade a few years ago with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. There was one that was starred uh, Judy Garland, which she got Rod for the Oscar for. So, but eventually, I thought she would have Judy Garland would have won it, but nope, they gave it to Grace Kelly. And it, this version came out in 1976, and it stars Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. And the film is called A Star is Born. It's the evergreen, uh, the evergreen Oscar winner ablaze with music and stardust. It says, The fire of Barbara Streisand, the magnetis magnetism of Chris Christopherson, the reckless world of big-time rock and roll, all three brings a new passion and timeli timeliness. To a Star is Born, one of the screen's classic love stories previously filmed in 1937 and 1954, and winner of five Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture, Actress and Actor, Musical Comedy, Paul Williams, Kenny Loggins, Leon Russell, and others worked with Streisand on one of the most popular so song scores ever, taught by the Streisand Williams Evergreen, winning the Academy Award and Golden Globe Award as 1976 Best Original Song. Their teamwork resulted in a box office triumph as well as a considerable achievement. So, um, so eventually, uh, this was made like this. Uh, sh 
Barbara Streisand was also executive producer. And Elvis Presley was supposed to star in this. and uh, But eventually uh, it didn't work out. And then uh, so uh, Chris Christopherson uh, took on the role. Mm-hmm. So eventually that and they have chemistry and it but it was it's a lot of good. It's a love story. It's a good love story. It was sad. And uh, so eventually it's got some special features and additional scenes and all that. So eventually um, this is a classic like whether with whether uh, whether version you love. I've only saw the last two versions. I didn't see the 1937 and the 1954 film. So um, so whichever version you like, that's great. Next up is a rock and roll fable, and it's directed by uh, Walter Hill, who did The Warriors and 48 Hours. And it's it stars uh, Michael Pere, Diane Lane, and Willem Dafoe. i never seen this movie, but I heard it's really, really good, and the music was awesome. The film is called Streets of Fire, and it's got special features. And uh, it's got, also got Rick Moranis and Amy Madigan. It's a, it reads, Amid a brooding rock and roll landscape, the bomber's motorcycle gang led by the vicious Raven Shaddock kidnap diva Ellen Aim. Her hopes for rescue lies with unlikely heroes, soldier of fortune Tom Cody and his sidekick, the two-fisted beer-guzzling McCoy. Joined by Ellen's manager, Billy Fish, the trio plunge headfirst into a world of rain-splattered streets, hot cars, and deadly assassins. This cult hit features a racer sharp cast and original songs written by Stevie Nicks, Tom Petty, and Ry Cooter, and performed by such greats, greats as The Blasters and The Fix. Streets of Fire is a rock and roll, roll shotgun blast to the senses. So I'll, I'll check, I'm going to check this out soon, but, but Michael Pere is one good looking actor. Next up is a classic film. Uh, that came out in 1969, and it starred, uh, I've seen it many times in school when I was growing up, but now I have the DVD version, I could enjoy it. Like, it used to come, it comes out every Easter, every Easter Sunday on YTV, but, and the film is directed by, it's from David L. Wolper, and it's the full screen edition, and it's called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and it's based on the book by Roald Dahl. Like you read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like, and all this, the Littles and all that. It's got some special features. It's got four sing-along songs. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it came out in 1971. Yep. It's, and uh, it's got, um, and it's got pure magic, a doc, a scrumptious, scrumptious documentary and all that. It's a genuine, it's a genuine work of imagination. It's called. Join the expedition of visiting legendary candy man Willy Wonka in a splendiferous movie that wondrously brings to the screen the, the end, endlessly appetizing delights of Roald Dahl's classic book. Coated with flavorful tunes and production design that constantly dazzles the eye, this ever evervescent musical never fails to enchant young and old. On a whirlwind tour of Willy's incredible edible realm of chocolate waterfalls, elfish, oompa loompas, and industrial-sized confections, a boy named Charlie will discover the sweetest secret of all, a genuous, loving heart, and you'll rediscover the timeless magic of a delicious family classic. So, um, this is a film that, um, so it's Willy, and the, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, this was a remake, came a remake in 2004, 2005, that came out with Johnny Depp and directed by Tim Burton, and I didn't think it was that good, but nothing can top the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We're almost done. A couple more. Next up is a film that was a classic. It comes on TV all the time. Came out in 1939. They say it was. A, it did not do well at the box office, but it became a cult favorite for everybody around, for around the world. It's the I got the two to 70th anniversary edition, and this is. The Wizard of Oz, a classic movie with Judy Garland as Dorothy. And it says, there's no place like it. It's, re- it's a remastered edition of the most magical movie in Hollywood. History with refreshed picture clarity and revitalized auto fidelity. And it's got some, it's got some, and it also has three hours of wonderful wizardry. 
and um, from it came from the book the author L. Frank Baum, and it also has the TV movie called the the called the Dreamer of Oz stars John Ritter, God rest his soul, and and Annette O'Toole, and uh, and it's so and it and it's directed by Victor Fleming, and it also you can sing along with the film, and this is a classic like. Everybody loves this film, The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and the last one, I'm gonna, it's a surprise. This is The Magical Addiction. I went, I rem, I'm gonna tell you a story about this last DVD. When I was eight years old, my mom took my brother and I to see this movie. And uh, it affected me. I was eight and it had, it had everything in it. It had like classic, uh, animation, music, love, a romance and everything else dancing. And there are some scenes and a love story that really affected me. And that affected me so bad that when the movie was over, I cried three times, which was crazy. Yeah. And my brother keeps, <laughs> shut up. Oh, that's my brother. So eventually the movie I'm talking about was the first film day starring Bill of Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly's final role. It also has Michael Beck of the Warriors, whom I love very much. And the film is Xanadu. Experience the magic. It's got dazzling special features going back to Xanadu and the photo galleries, rare production photos and all that mm -hmm. and there's music from john farrar and and orcas and music from the electric like orchestra and my mom loves ELO. and i had my i got my first pair of roller skates when i was 10 years old and leg warmers and that's when leg warmers came in style okay experience the magic step into the magical world of xanadu with this dazzling special edition of one of the most extraordinary musicals ever Superstars Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly star in this beloved film spectacular about a beautiful, beautiful muse who is sent from heaven to help a struggling artist open a roller disco. And now out of this out of this world fantasy sparkles life like never before with a digitally remastered featured new 5.1 surround aud sound audio track. All new special features with songs like Xanadu, Magic, Suddenly I'm Alive and All Over the World is a dream come true for musical fans everywhere. Like, this is a movie that, that did not do very, that bombed big time at the box office. And it inspired the Razzie Awards. And then it became a, uh, then, 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 then the Broadway version came out and they, and it got great reviews. And that made people love, appreciate the movie Xanadu more. And, um, this movie is what the, they, they just didn't, couldn't understand it. Uh, but when you see when I saw it again, I realized what it's all about. And this movie is about following your dreams and following your heart. It's not only a, a fantasy; it's also a love story, a, a love, a musical. It's a mortal who falls for a goddess, and a goddess who falls for the mortal. And it says a boy and a girl from two different worlds, who's whom no one can tear apart. And the, they say it, but the, since the movie did not do well at the box office, the soundtrack went platinum. And um, then I started liking Xanadu again. And um, I just looked and I looked at that story and it was it's the most beautiful love story I have ever seen in my life. And so this is a movie, whether you love it or you hate it, it's either a Xanadu or a Xanadont. Well, well, that is it for my DVD musical movie collection. And when I come back again, I'm next, the last thing I'm going to show you is my, is my uh, television DVD collection, which I'm collecting very well as well. So eventually that is it for me. So if you have any questions or if you want to comment on my channel or subscribe, please do so. But the main, re main rule is be respectful. And so this is me once again, Rush Dead Dixon Vixen saying good night and God bless.